Tolerable, <laughs> A yen of her Nashka Akajul at Ordenta group. A young girl could coursey lane the Laurent Blainte knows. Lomur, Ivelira, Naholskola, Agasan, Kolashta to arm. Agaso called near Smo, Agas near Tobak Tia Rish in Vorsil Bain. Kamarashu for Gemiert, Ur Agas Grim Gakro or of on sale at Roiv a mark mark came at her, the quid Olskol Naheran Galiv. Um, I'm uh, Professor Cahill O'Donoghue, I'm Dean of the College of Arts, Social Sciences and Celtic Studies. On behalf of the National University of Ireland Galway and the Warren College of Art, I want to extend to you all a very warm welcome to this virtual conferring ceremony. To you, the graduates, I say that in awarding these degrees today, we are publicly acknowledging and paying tribute to your intelligence, hard work and dedication to the course of studies that has brought you to this point. The honour conferred on you today represents an important milestone in what I hope will be distinguished, uh, fulfilling and rewarding lives and careers. In these special circumstances, we are conducting this ceremony online, but I very much hope that in due course you and we will be able to share and celebrate your achievement with your families and friends and academic uh, community generally, uh, all of whom have contributed in a variety of ways to this, your academic success. Graduations are an appropriate celebration of that success. And in this university, we use Latin, Irish, and English to mark the occasion. Our graduation ceremonies are a tradition that spans many centuries. In Ireland, they go all the way back to the first university established in Dublin in 1320, though it no longer exists. And the, the tradition has continued um, right to the present. This year, this university celebrates 175 years since its foundation being originally one of the three Queen's Colleges established in 1845 in Belfast, Cork and Galway. After today's ceremony, you, the graduates, will take your place in that group. And the partnership that enables you to do so as graduates of the Burren College of Art also is a particular source of satisfaction to me as Dean of Arts and to the university. Latin was the original working language of the universities. And as a link to the past, we still use the language in this conferring ceremony. In the Latin form of words used in your parchments, two things are, are confirmed publicly by the university, the academic quality of your award and the moral character of you as graduates. I hope that as you go through the rest of your lives in Galway, as Galway graduates, that you will remember and strive to uphold both of these uh, characteristics. I would now like to introduce to you uh, the various people present today who are central to this ceremony. On our screen are the president of NUI Galway, Professor Kiron O'Hogartig, the president of the Burren College of Art, Mary Hawkes Green, and the secretary of governance and academic affairs of the university, Caroline Lachnan. I now ha hand over to Miss Lachnan, who will open the formal proceedings in Latin. Thank you. Prianorablis Praesis Totaque Universitas. Hic Committee Universitaria Hodia Convocatus Sunt, Ud Quidimomines Maxime Exame, Ad Gradus Academicus, et At Diplomata Academica Ad Mitanter. President and all of the university community, this meeting of the university has been convened for the purpose of admitting graduates to the degrees of Masters and Diplomas. Eoseske Present Abbot, Mary Hawkes Green. President of Burren College of Art, Mary Hawkes Green will present the graduates. 
Presento vobis hasque meas filias, filosque meas, quos omne sio tam moribus, quam doctrina habiles et idonias esse que admitator ad gradum magisterii in artibus elegantibus, itque tibi fida mea testor expandeo totique academiae. Ego autoritatem mihi concesse, admitter vos ad gradum magisterii in artibus elegantibus. Chetan Bakuni. And Chetan will now show us some of his work. The most valuable experience in BCA was the freedom to explore myself, through which I feel more confident to honestly express myself as a human being. Adam Dutton. The most valuable experience that I have gained from my time at the Bern College of Art is the ability to work autonomously. Through the opportunity to structure my own goals, organize my work habits, and determine a standard of quality, all while receiving critically thoughtful and insightful feedback throughout the processes of my planning, art making, and presentation of work, the Bern College of Art has enabled me with the experience necessary to be a professional. Nell O'Leary. My most valuable experience at BCA has been the individual tutorials led by both the faculty and guest lecturers. Insight from these advisors help you help yourself consider what inspires you, how you work, and how best to communicate that imagery to the viewer. Jeanette Rodriguez. I now have a greater understanding and respect for the reflection of both myself and my surroundings. Presento vobis hank me amphiliam, quam sciota moribus, quam doctrina habilem, et edoniam esse, que admitantur ad diploma superius in artibus elegantibus, it great to be fide mea testor expandeo totique academiae. Ego artata mea concessa, admit her tea gradum diploma superius in artibus elegantibus. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. It was such an enlightening experience to study at the Bern College of Art. It helped me discover my inner strength and capabilities. Thank you. Pre honorables praises. Carimonies rites confectus finum quaeso facius huius convocationis universitariae. This part of the ceremony and university convocation is duly complete. Thank you all very much for joining us today. As was mentioned earlier, my name is Kieran Ahoke, I'm president of NUI Galway, and very pleased to uh, join you today. Um, the the in in Irish we say cogordicus, and if you parse that phrase it means that we celebrate together. And uh, although we can't be together uh, in person today at the Byrne College and in those august surroundings, uh, I hope we can imagine new ways of being together. And more and more as a community, as a society, we're reimagining ways of being together. And this is one of those examples where we can imagine uh, how it is to be with you and how it would be to be here on normal days, uh, which we hope and we know will return again. In the meantime, we're very uh, sad that you can't be with us in, in person, uh, but ha happy and glad that we can celebrate the day uh, on, online virtually. And we hope that you're with uh, friends and family and people that, that have supported you during this time. Uh, and much, many of your words around about your work really reflect for me a lot of the values that we espouse as NUI Galway. And I think when you, one of the advantages we had online was that you could present and talk about your work uh, and the many of the words you use reflect the values of NUI Galway as a university and as Byrne College of Art uh, as a fine education institution. Uh, you used words like respect, 
a high quality. Uh, and I think in that context, you very much reflect uh, what it is to be students and graduates of NUI Galway. And we're very pleased to welcome you into our uh, alumni uh, network and our, 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 our graduates in that context. And I'd particularly like to talk about those values because these are very important to us as a university community. Uh, and I think in particular in the Burren, uh, and given the location and the work of the Burren College of Art, there are two of those values, respect and the other value of sustainability, are very clear uh, and very uh, um, front of house, if you like, and very uh, clear to us in the context of respect for your own work, respect for the environment in which we operate, and the sustainability of the wider world uh, and the environment in which we live. Uh, there are two other values uh, that as a university we have come together to espouse and those values are uh, values of openness and excellence and again they were words used uh, by you in, in, in describing some of your work and I think in particular I'd like to commend your the high quality of your work. Uh, that sense that excellence is a process, excellence is a journey and you have made that journey with us and with, your, with each other and with our colleagues at the Byrne College of Art and we really uh, appreciate that. Uh, in that very often excellence is in the process itself, is in the finding uh, of that process and the finding of the work uh, that, that uh, comes of it. And I was particularly reminded when we were in, in, in the Latin, uh, when we talked about artibus elegantibus, fine art. And I think elegance is, is when we talk about elegance, particularly in the context of expression, uh, we talk not only about the outcome, but also about how you get there, how you express yourselves. And I think there, had, there is great elegance in your work. Uh, and we commend you for it and thank you for it. Uh, but secondly, I think the very important is that sense of openness. Uh, and again, you've talked about that in that being open to new ideas, being open to finding in yourselves new ways of expressing yourselves and also the honesty and openness of providing that then, that then, that then for others. Uh, and I think in particular, uh, that sense of openness we'd like to commend today because um, I think particularly in the world as we have it now, in the current moment, uh, that sense of openness to each other and that sense of openness to our own fragility and that sense of sharing that we have in that uh, vulnerability, I think is particularly important and we commend you for it. And when we were, this is the, the, the third of a set of online graduations and we've graduated medical graduates who have a particular, particularly important role in the world. We've graduated research uh, graduates, again, with research being particularly important in the value of science being particularly important to us in, in this moment. And today you're graduating as well. And in all of those cases, I think that sense of openness to the world and that sense of uh, contribution is particularly important. And in, in, the re in the research graduation, we talked about being drawn to academic life and research uh, by being drawn to the life of the mind. And in that context, I was reminded also that particularly important now is the life of the heart, that sense of getting uh, to uh, in, in connection with br that, those broader aspects of how it is to live uh, both alone in, in solitarily but also with others and your work is particularly about the life of the heart uh, and n now more than ever that work is important uh, that work is important in the sense that it brings solidarity to others that sense of sharing that sense of uh, bringing reflection which we've all had to engage with uh, sometimes whether we like it or not uh, in the last uh, number of weeks and months. So I'd particularly like to commend your work, commend the calling, that noble calling that you're drawn to, uh, that sense of elegance in your art, that sense of uh, openness that you bring with it, and those values that you espouse through that. And that brings us back to the mission of NUI Galway and also of the Byrne College of Art. Uh, and the overall overarching theme of our current strategy is that we are here as a university, as NUI Galway, for the public good. And I think, again, in this case, in sharing your work, the elegance of your work, the excellence of your work, and being open to that uh, and being respectful to the environment which we sustain, you are also serving the public good and you are also serving society. And we, we wish you the best in that. Uh, and we wish you all the best in those endeavours, that journey that will bring you uh, to new uh, and, uh, and hopefully uh, uh, hopeful adventures in the future. Uh, and we start at the beginning by saying Kogordicus, I'll say, finish by saying in Irish, Goramahagov, which is, again, if we parse that, particularly poignant at this time, may you have good. So we hope very well that you will stay well, that you will be uh, good together and look after each other, be kind to each other, and also be grateful for the opportunity we have to reflect at this time. Be grateful in challenge 
uh, very often challenging times for uh, the the, the uh, environment in which you find ourselves, but also grateful to others, to each other, to family around you, to Burn College of Art for the work done, uh, and to the university more generally. But as Inuai Galway, we are grateful to you. Thank you for coming to the Burn to work there. Thank you to our college and the Bur our colleagues in the Burn College of Art for the work done. We're looking very very much forward to continued engagement with the Burn College of Art. I know Cahal who's with us today, has been speaking to Mary in the context of programs in areas like ecology, sustainability, and creativity. That sense of purpose that comes from a sense of place that is unique and very often cannot be replicated. And no better place than the Burn, no better place than the West of Ireland to embark on those journeys as you have before, before us. And uh, we thank you for that, uh, that journey in itself and the, uh, the destinations which you've shown us today. And I therefore, in 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 closing, I'd like to say for, first of all, Arish Kogordikas, we celebrate with you, and secondly, Gura Markiv, thank you very much, uh, and we wish you all the very best for the future. And I'll, I now introduce our our great colleague, of which we're very fond, uh, Mary Hawks Green, uh, who is the president and uh, one of the co-founders of the Byrne College of Art. Uh, and I'll pass over to Mary now, who'll also say a few words to you at this great occasion. For me, Markiv. Thank you so much, President Ohogarty, for that, for that warm uh, introduction. Uh, and we are, of course, very indebted to, Bern, to the National University of Ireland, Galway. And I extend a very warm welcome to you and to all your distinguished colleagues. A special welcome to our graduates, to Byrne College of Arts faculty and staff. Uh, a warm welcome to this, our 16th conferring ceremony. And to state what is perhaps obvious, these are extraordinary times, which remind us of our intimate interconnection as a species, while forcing us to maintain physical separation. And yet technology allows us to connect in ways that would have been unimaginable not so very long ago. So we're playing simultaneously with the paradox of separation and the profound human need for connection. And today, while we're all dispersed in different locations in front of various screens, but I want to take you on a journey of the imagination. Just on screen now, you will have seen images of Newtown Castle, where normally this graduation ceremony would have taken place. So I ask you now, close your eyes and transport yourself up the circular stairs of Newtown Castle. You are seated in the Minstrels Gallery, a roaring fire blazes in the hearth, and you, our graduates, hold your newly awarded parchments in your hands. Just stop and feel the love and support of your family, your friends, the faculty and staff of Byrne College of Art, the President, Dean of Arts and the Academic Secretary of NUI Galway, all here with you to acknowledge and celebrate your achievement. I extend a Cade Mila a 100,000 welcomes to you all and especially to your families and friends who are joining us today from afar. So today is a day of celebration, and it's an opportunity for us all to reflect on the success of our graduates. Chetan, Adam, Nell, Jeanette, and Dua, well done. You should be very, very proud of your achievements and of the journeys that have brought you to this day. You could have chosen easier, more traditional paths, but something called you to the Burren from your homes in India, North America, and Jordan. Here in the Burren, you've had to adapt to a new culture, to relative isolation, to being in a small community where there's nowhere to hide, where all the excuses of noise and busyness are taken away, where there are no right answers to ensure an A grade, where you come face to face with the ultimate challenge. Who am I? And what do I want to communicate to the world with my art? The images you've just shared of your work and your words, uh, the work that you prepared for your final exhibition, to provide a small insight into how you have grappled with and responded to these questions. Choosing presence out of place as the title of your final exhibition is an indication of the depth of your research and your experience of the Burren as a catalyst for your work. It's a powerful title that summons us home to presence our source as creative beings. It reminds us that as a species, we have become disconnected from our place as part of the natural world. 
It is an acknowledgement that the imminent presence of the Burren has the power to awaken each of us to our own true depths. While the exhibition, the exhibition that you've had to postpone, uh, is what artists present to the world, the journey embedded in the exhibited work represents your real achievement. A postgraduate education in the context of the Burren represents a complete immersion. And through this process, our graduates benefit from what the Burren College of Art most has to offer. Focus, commitment, rigor, resourcefulness and imagination. These qualities have been called into being even more acutely this year as students have had to grapple with the disruption and uncertainty resulting from COVID-19 pandemic. Our graduating class have risen to the challenge with grace and resilience, displaying a strong sense of community as they had to complete work remotely and reschedule the final exhibition. Community, now that's something that's hugely important to us at the Burning College of Art. And as we celebrate our graduates, I wish to acknowledge the dedication and vocation of all of my colleagues. We are so fortunate here to have a tightly knit team who embody the values of the college and to commit themselves tirelessly to ensuring that each student receives that very special individual attention that enables them to achieve their potential. To each of you, a heartfelt thank you. Collaboration is key to our success as a small alternative art college. We acknowledge NUI Galway, our partner for 18 years, for your steadfast support of our vision and of our programmes. We're delighted that the importance of creativity is highlighted in the university's new strategic plan, and we look forward to contributing further to its realisation. It is lovely also to hear uh, Professor O'Hogan speak about the knowledge of the heart. And I think we all know that this is the time when that knowledge uh, comes to the fore. We're grateful for our, our collaboration also with the Royal College of Art in London and the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, whose graduate mentors, together with Burn College of Art faculty and visiting artists, bring a diverse and an international perspective to our students. In these uncertain times, one wonders what the future will hold for colleges like the Burn College of Art, and indeed for all higher education systems, as we move to a future potentially dominated by artificial intelligence. It was refreshing, therefore, to hear Andreas Schleicher, the OECD's Director of Education, acknowledge last week that there are three transformative competencies that need to characterize education in this decade. The most important of these is creativity. The, the ability to create something new and of value, which artificial intelligence is least good at. The second is the ability to navigate ambiguity. And the third, the ability to take responsibility for mobilizing into action. These distinctive competencies, which characterize what it is to be human, are the critical distinctions between our species and the digital world. These are the competencies learned through the arts and the humanities, in human settings, through personal interactions. So, to our graduates, I say, this is your time. You emerge from Burren College of Art into a world that has changed overnight. COVID-19, a microscopic force, too small for us to see, has plunged the world into the unknown, the unpredictable. It has compelled us to change, to behave differently, to separate from business as usual, to acknowledge our interdependence and to pause for reflection and re-evaluating. This is the moment for you, the artist, to shine. Uncertainty is your natural milieu, risk-taking your daily practice. Petra told us that while logic and philosophy may help to define virtue, only poetry and art can make us be more virtuous. The world needs artists now more than ever to help us reclaim virtue and to imagine a better future. There are so many opportunities for you now to contribute creative practice and ways of being in the world, to teach and nurture creativity in others, 
to work in the cultural sector in multiple roles in the creative industries, to transform ideas and visual art forms innovatively in the future. You are blessed with the gift of creativity as your birthright. You now go out into the world with those enhanced qualities of resilience, resourcefulness and the tenacity forged in the burn. The world is your oyster. Your time is now. If you cast your minds back to your first day at the Burn College of Art, you may recall that I greeted you then with John O'Donoghue's poem for a new beginning, encouraging you to awaken your spirit to adventure and to find ease and risk. As this ceremony draws to a close and you cross the threshold of Newtown Castle to embark on the next chapter of your lives, I again invoke John O'Donoghue's wisdom to send you on your way from his poem for longing. Blessed be the longing that brought you here and quickens your soul with wonder. May you have the courage to listen to the voice of desire that disturbs you when you have settled for something safe. May you have the wisdom to enter into your own unease to discover the new direction your longing wants you to take. May the forms of your belonging in love, creativity and friendship be equal to the grandeur and the call of your soul. I would now like to introduce Professor Peter Power, our graduate mentor who has been mentor to our students over the course of their studies and who comes to us from the School of the Art Institute, uh, one of our collaborators. Hello, Burren College of Art graduating class of 2020. Regards from Chicago. Congratulations to all of you on your successful completion of your studies at the Burren College of Art. Well done. It's a wonderful achievement. In my role as graduate mentor from the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, I've had the pleasure of visiting you in your studios in Ballyphone each November for the last few years. Those visits have been a pleasure for me. I got to meet you and talk with you in your studios. For me, as a studio artist, visiting another artist in their studio is a delight. It is both a familiar experience and an excitingly new one. I get to see you in your natural habitat, a habitat of making, learning, questioning, and discovering. Over the years, I've learned that teaching studio art is somewhat different from teaching other subjects, particularly at an MFA level. Beyond some instruction in technique or method, we generally do not offer instruction in the correct way to do anything, something. We don't necessarily have correct or incorrect answers. I'm not sure if we have any answers at all. At best, in the studio, we have questions. Teaching studio art at an advanced level is more like sharing, sharing of experience, sharing of lessons learned, sharing of questions, and most, most importantly, encouraging one another. Sharing goes both ways, and in my individual conversations and group discussions with you over the last few years, I've learned an awful lot from you, so thank you. The Burren College of Art that you chose for your advanced studies with its location and its ethos is, in itself, an expanded learning experience. From my visits there over the years, I have learned, in very direct comparison to where I live and work, that your sparsity of immediate distractions actually lends to a clearer and more grounded view of the world. These qualities are evidence in your work. And these qualities will sustain you as you begin a practice beyond the college. And now you are graduating. Graduating in very, very challenging times. In times like these, artists may feel a little redundant as if their work, their contribution, lacks urgency in the present moment. Artists may feel that their paintings, sculptures, photographs, drawings or performances lack a certain utility, that they are incapable of alleviating the problems of the day. This concern is understandable. Many of us share it daily, weekly. It's a sign though that you are not only an artist, but also an aware citizen and a member of a community. And that's a good thing. Keep in mind, that maybe the job of an artist is to attempt to discover the questions that are most important 
to your lives, to your life as an artist, the questions that are most important to the circumstances of your life. Try to articulate these questions for the benefit of and the inclusion of a wider community. This can at times be a slow and challenging process, but I believe it to have great value for the individual and for the community at large. Your task is now to continue to make and continue to question and to continue to discover. And most importantly, to be generous and delightful. Share your work with your community and allow your community to be questioned, to discover, to be challenged and to delight in all of your efforts. Keep in mind and remember all the time that good art gives the viewer a moment of self-awareness and recognition of their own individual existence in this large and chaotic world. Good art, speak, good art speaks to and accompanies the viewer and can stay with that viewer for a long, long time, well past the gallery, well past the studio visit. I believe that this work, the work that you're beginning to undertake now as new graduates, as you go out into the world, I think believe that this work is very, very important in its own silent and at times unspectacular way. Again, congratulations. Congratulations on your achievement. Congratulations on your, all your hard work. And I wish you the very best of luck. Take care. That concludes the conferring ceremony. But before we finish, I want to thank those people whose hard work and professionalism have ensured that this ceremony has been made possible. In particular, Finola Nikulain and Tara Layden of the Conferring's team, John Caulfield from the President's Office and Dave Brandt of Brandt Studios in Galway, who have coordinated this graduation. To you, the graduates, I have just one last thing to say as you celebrate with us virtually and I hope in the company of your family. Go now and make the most of the qualification you've gained and the life ahead of you. Banigi Sultni Awan Agasan Law at our new own Akasan Sale at our Ruv Amako Ma Gurav Mahagriv Galer. Thank you. Thank you.